Josh, I'm using some new Polar FS1 heart rate monitor. I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you fellas. This is the watch right here. I'll put that on. So you're gonna need to lift up the shirt. Sorry, ladies. Get this thing around here. Lift that shirt up, just like that. You're gonna want to do that when you put it on. You flip her over like that. Put a little trinkle of water on there. Flip her back over. Uh, Alright, so if you want to set the target heart rate zones, you just hit the gray button once, twice, three times, and you just wait a second, it'll come to beep, you hit that, just keep it on, on, it'll say OK, click the button again, it'll high, you want it on 185, but if you want to change it, just keep pressing the gray button, you know. Let's set it at 1.3. Yeah. I just don't want to sound like I'll say okay. Hit the gray button again. Do the same for low. You just keep going up. You get the idea. I'll see you that for now. To start your workout, make sure that your uh, your screen is in the time, and then to start, just press the gray, uh, the gray button, wait until the exe, then you've started. <laughs> then to end it, all you do is hit it once, and it'll stop, and there's your time. Hey, so I'm going to tell you how to change the settings while you're doing your workout. It's pretty easy. Take your watch, pull up to your heart rate. I'm just and they'll change from the time, the time of the day, to your heart rate. To check your heart rate and the duration of the time of your workout when you're finished, just press the stop button when you're done working out. Press it again, place the EXC, and then again to file. Wait a second for it to load. And then there's your total time. And then your average heart rate over the duration of your time.